Sixth grade, module five, lesson two, problem set. Number one, calculate the area of each right triangle below. Note that the figures are not drawn to scale. So remember, the area of a triangle is equal to one half, the base times the height, or you can do base times height divided by two, whichever works better in each scenario, or you can just remember one and it always works. Okay, so number one, we have the base and the height. That's the first thing we need to find. So here would be the base and here's the height. And we can find that by finding where the, um, where the right triangle, where it forms a right, right angle, making it a right triangle. So let's do base, one half base times height. I'm just gonna do base times height divided by two. That's what I like to do with when we don't have fractions. So let's do 31 and 2 tenths times nine and one tenth. So we have two, one, three, put my zero down. 9 times 2 is 18, carry the 1, 9 times 1 is 9, plus 1 is 10, carry the 1, 9 times 3 is 27, plus 1 is 28. So we get, and then there were two digits behind the decimal point here, so I'm going to move it over two places. We end up with 28, or 283 and 92 hundredths, but now I need to divide that by 2. So we have 283 and 92 hundredths divided by 2. I'm going to bring my decimal point straight up so I don't forget about it. 2 goes into 2 one time. Bring down the 8. 2 goes into 8 four times. 0. Bring down the 3. 2 goes into 3 one time. We have 1. Bring down the 9. 2 goes into 19 nine times. Bring down the 2, and 2 goes into 12 six times. So we get 141 and 96 hundredths. Oops, sorry. Let's see, 141 and 96 hundredths, and our label is centimeters cubed for area. Okay, number two. Here we have some fractions. So the right angle is formed right here. So here we have the base and the height. So I'm going to do one half times the base times the height is three and three fourths. So let me start with one half times five. So that would be 1 half times 5, be 5 halves, which is equal to 2 and a half. So now I have 2 and a half times 3 and 3 fourths. I'm going to make those into improper fractions, so you can either do the box method or make them improper fractions. I'm going to make them improper fractions. Uh, so this would be, so I'm just going to change that back to 5 halves times 3 and 3 fourths. 3 times 4 would be 12 plus three would be 15 fourths. So five times 15 is 75. And two times four is eight. So we get 75 eighths. I need to make that into a mixed number. So eight goes into 75. Let's see, eight times 10 would be 80. So eight times nine would be 72. So it goes in nine whole times and then 75 minus the 72 would be 3 eighths left over, which can't be reduced. So 9 and 3 eighths, our label was kilometers squared. Number 3. We have 3 and, well, first of all, the right angle's right there. So the base is going to be 2 and 4 tenths times the height is 3 and 2 tenths. So this, I'm going to do 3 and 2 tenths times 2 and 4 tenths. 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times 3 is 12. 
put my zero down, done with the four. Two times two is four, two times three is six. Add them together. We have two digits behind the decimal point, so I'm gonna move it over two places. So I get seven and 68 hundredths, but now I need to divide that by two. So two goes into seven, I'll bring my decimal point up. Two goes into seven three times. Two goes into 16 eight times. And two goes into eight four times. So we get three and 84 hundredths inches squared. Number four. Okay, here's our right angle. So it doesn't matter which one's the base and which one's the height, but I'll make that base. And so we have 11 times 60, and then I'm gonna divide that by two. So 11 times 60, be 660. And then 660 divided by two would be 330. So this is equal to 330 millimeters squared. So there's the millimeters. And five. Here we have fractions, so I'm gonna use one half base times height. So one half of the base times the height. So one half times 10 is five times 13 and one third. And I think I'm gonna do box for this. So five times 13 and one third. So five times 13 65, and then five times one third will be five thirds or one and two thirds. So we get, if we add those together, we get 66 and two thirds. And then our label is feet squared. Number six, Elena has two congruent rugs at her house. She cut one vertically down the middle, so this one vertically down the middle, and she cut diagonally through the other one, so this one she cut diagonally. After making the cuts, which rug, labeled A, B, C, or D, has the larger area? Explain. So once know which one is the biggest area. And since we both started out with the same rugs and we cut one down the middle and one diagonally, we know that they're actually all the same size. So let's say the rugs, are all the same size. The vertical line goes down the center here, so it makes two congruent parts. And then this vertical diagonal line goes, makes two congruent parts also because it splits it into two right triangles that have exactly half the area of the rectangle. So Let's say the vertical line splits it into two equal parts, or if you want to use a fancier word, you can say congruent. The diagonal line also makes two equal parts because the area of a right triangle is exactly half the area of the rectangle. Number seven, give the dimensions of a right triangle and a parallelogram with the same area. Explain how you know. 
Okay, so I'm going to do this number seven, like over here in orange. So they didn't give us any space. So give the dimensions of a right triangle and a parallelogram with the same area. So I'm just going to make something up. There's a lot of different answers here, so yours can be different than mine. So we have a right triangle and a parallelogram. So I'm going to start with the right triangle. So if maybe like the base was, this is not going to be even, if it was like a four by three, so one half of four times three, this would be equal to six, I'll say inches squared. So then if I want to find, or if I want to make a parallelogram that has is six inches squared, just think of two things that are that multiply to get six we'll go with three and two. So let's say this is three inches and this is two inches. So then this is also equal to six inches squared. So there's a four by three triangle and a two by three parallelogram. How do we know? Well, you can just draw the picture and show them how you solved it. And number eight, if the area of a right triangle is 9 16 square feet and the height is 3 fourths, so we know the area is 9 16 and the height is 3 fourths, write an equation that relates the area to the base, B, and the height. Solve the equation to determine the base. So we know that area is equal to one half base times height. So let's fill in what we know. So we know that the area is 9 16 which would be equal to one half. We don't know the base, but we do know the height. So now we can solve. So what we do know is we can do one half times 3 fourths. So 9 16 is equal to one half times 3 fourths would be 3 eighths times b. And then what we need to find out is, so we can either do 9 16 divided by 3 8 or what I'm going to do is figure out 3 8 times what would get us 9 16 So 8, start with 3 times what is 9, well 3, and 8 times what is 16, 2. So three halves, or three halves would be equal to one and one half feet would be equal to the base. 